I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, Senior Science Editor for Muscle and Fitness Magazine, and you're watching MNF Live. Welcome to MNF Live. I'm Muscle and Fitness Editor in Chief Sean Perrine here at our beautiful downtown New York City offices, where in just a few minutes, I'm going to take you inside one of our pitch meetings. But first, Let's go to Columbus, Ohio, where we recently had the chance to catch up with a few of our favorite MNFers at the 2012 Arnold Sports Festival. Hi, this is Kaden, and I'm Ureles Gonzalez, and we are the Muscle and Fitness booth. Welcome to the Arnold. Of course, after seeing Bruce Lee in the Green Horn, I became a uh, martial artist. I said, I want to be like Bruce. Here's a guy who died in 1973. He's almost on every cover of uh, the martial arts or, and now muscle and fitness. I mean, he left a great legacy. So I've been in the uh, fifth season now of uh, Sons of Anarchy, bringing me as a badass nomad from New York City. So I guess I'm a badass nomad from New York City. I, th I think you were born to play this role, actually. Yeah, 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 I think so. The biggest advantage powerlifting gives me coming over to bodybuilding is it gives me a lot of uh, torso thickness. I mean, my chest, my back, my back's obviously my biggest strength in a bodybuilding sense. You know, the back is where guys are lacking, and at the highest levels, that's often, you know, the most important body part. I mean, look at all the great champions like Dorian Yates, Lee Haney, Ronnie Coleman, you know, back was their strongest body part. Since you retired last year, what have you been up to? What can we expect to see from you next? Uh, well, obviously, been getting some acting jobs. We just finished Expendables 2. Right. Uh, did another film called Hijack that'll be out in September. Which of your fights do you think you were in the best shape for? I think it was pretty consistent. Uh, I, I always saw my conditioning as a tool, another way for me to, to, to win fights and, and break my opponents. You know, once you come up with the formula that, that gets you to a peak and gets you where you want to be, you use it over and over and over again. I kind of hang my hat on the fact that I, everything I did, I did drug free. Being able to do a, a 500 pound clean and jerk, a 412 pound snatch, uh, a 1,000 pound squat, a 900 pound deadlift. Being as uh, 410 pounds, I, I'm, I'm one of the larger guys in the company. As someone who's 410 pounds myself, I know exactly what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. I mean, look at you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mark. We appreciate oh, it's it. It's a pleasure. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Heisen, Group Training Director for Muscle & Fitness. We're here with Sam DeHardy, our Editorial Assistant. Sam wants to go over his deadlift form today, so we're going to take a look at what he's doing and then see what we can improve on. Okay, so one thing we noticed with Sam is that the bar was coming out a little bit in front of his body as he was pulling it up. You always want to keep the bar pulled into your shins as tight as possible. It helps your leverage. You always want to activate your lats, pull the bar into your shins as you're coming up. And another thing he's doing is he's rounding his back a little bit. The danger there is you can really hurt your lower back if it's not tightly arched. Okay, so I'm sitting my hips back. I'm pulling the weight up. It's scraping across my shins. It's scraping along my thighs and then locking out at the top. Okay, as you can see, that was better. Sam had the bar closer to his body this time. He was falling back in his heels a little bit. When you have more than 135 in the bar, it's, he'll be more upright. That just shows that his glutes and his hamstrings are working properly. That's the goal of the exercise. So good job, Sam. We'll see you next time. Thanks, John. Hi, my name is Vanessa Tip for MNF Live, and I'm gonna be taking you through a routine that's gonna help you build and tone your shoulders. So you want to perform four sets of each of the exercises for eight to 10 reps. Barbell shoulder presses are great for overall shoulder growth and development. You can also perform this exercise sitting. Start with the weights at ear level and press up without lacking your elbows. Bring the weights back down to the starting position and repeat for the recommended amount of reps. Sit at the end of a bench with your dumbbells by your feet, keeping your torso still and elbows slightly bent. Bring the weights up until parallel to the floor, return to the starting position and repeat. Here you want to keep your torso straight. Lift the dumbbells to your sides with a slight bend to your elbows until your arms are parallel to the floor. Lower the dumbbells back slowly and repeat the movement. You can also perform this exercise sitting. I'm Vanessa Tip. thank you for watching and we'll see you next month. Okay guys, so as you all know, this is our April issue. It's um, a Bruce Lee cover, actually. I just managed to score Bruce Lee. We have some never before seen photos for the inside, and we're also gonna have a Bruce training component, how to look like Bruce Lee. But beyond that, we need some other pitches, so go for it.
We're having a supplement guide this issue too, right? Yeah, that's uh, right. Maybe a good companion piece for that would be to show how protein is made. Just take the reader through the whole process, how it goes from the cow to the uh, sugar cup. How about a story about eating for strength? So you want to break your max, you um, incorporate a short-term diet, ramp up the carbs, and uh, take it out that way. What else we got? We could just uh, ask our Facebook fans what are some of their top workout songs, and then just pick like the top 50. Uh, for how-to section in the edge, there's this guy Dennis Rogers, who's a master strongman, hammering nails with your hands, uh, bending wrenches, and actually one of his specialties is ripping a phone book in half. Cool. He actually has a way where you start with a, a smaller book. They could actually start with the muscle and fitness. Or you could start with men's health, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this episode of MNF Live. Be sure to check us out at muscleandfitness.com and on your local newsstand. We'll see you next month.